talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! How you doing folks? Welcome to Joshua McConkie Fishing. It is Labor Day weekend guys. Our first of three days of fishing. We are at the king of all rivers, the mighty Mississippi, here in St. Genevieve, Missouri. And what we got here is the main river and it does a slight bend I want to say oh 30 degrees or so but what happens on this bend is it comes way back and, and this is just filled in with silt right now but normally when the water would be high uh, this would fill up off back in here for a good eighth of a mile it's like backwater but we're fishing right where the main current comes along the rocks here behind me and meets this backwater and it's got a perfect diagonal current and why I like that is because I use three ounce weights normally when fishing the Mississippi all the way up to six and a lot of times you'll cast and your weight will just suck to the side and it'll end up going way over well right here since you got a current that is diagonal it will actually pull your weight straight out to where you're actually wanting to get fish which is about a hundred yards out in front of us where the eddy goes in a circle and the two waters kind of meet together there the first deep spot so yeah somebody left me a nice rod holder right here it's amazing they used uh, three rails and got it looks like tied together and I mean I got rod holders but that thing's gonna work too uh, I do see one log out there it's kind of right in the way hopefully I can go out and get it maybe get it out of the way a little bit uh, but I'm wanting to target some flatheads today and I'd also like to get a uh, blue cat and I'd also like to get a, just a common carp I haven't gotten one of them this year yet so um, maybe some other species in there stay tuned as soon as I get set up and actually start getting some poles out we'll get turned back on wow he's going all over the place I don't know. Oh, I just went right over that log. Oh, man. If I got one, it's small. Yeah, I do. I got a little blue cat. My God. Well, folks, I at least I caught my first fish. He only has one eyeball, too. And it wasn't for me. He only had one eye, just a blank spot over it. Huh. Oh, yeah. oh, that's nice. Weird. He, it wasn't me. It ain't for my hook. He didn't have an eye to begin with, or it'd be bleeding. It just, he'd been born like that, I guess. All right, folks, I caught a, a seven inch, a seven inch blue, well, a, yeah, seven inch, one eyed blue cat. One eyed fish. That explains why I couldn't get him to ring the bell very much. He didn't have eyes. Yeah. Definitely not the size we're after, but it's a positive sign, I guess, that at least blues are biting. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it. 
you know, I only got one pole out so far, so that's not too too bad. All right, miniature blue cat. What? No. All right guys, I'm gonna show you my standard Mississippi River setup that I like to use. Not saying it's the best, but you have to have this at a minimum. I use 25 pound Berkeley Big Game for a main line. Then I tie a big swivel on there with a three ounce no roll sinker above it, up on the main line. Now, if you're on a wing dam, you want a five to six ounce weight. And on some normal parts of the river, we are not on a back eddy like this you want at least four ounce then I put three feet at least 24 to 36 inches of 50 pound leader at the end tied to the bottom of the swivel I don't know with a good quality steel catfish hook and that's all there is to it the reason you do not want to tie the weight on is when that fish pulls you want that weight to be able to pull, they will not feel the resistance because that slide is able to slide up and down. A lot of people tie their weights on about two feet above their hook. When you've got it tied like that, they will feel that when they start pulling that worm. That's the last thing you want. A lot of them fish will drop it. So that's it, folks. That's all there is to it. wasn't very deep right there it's only deep out in the main channel or out right on the edge of that eddy just a few feet in and it's already shallow I could tell because it didn't take long for mine to hit bottom at all I think it got off no it's still on there oh yeah Oh, it's a drum. Hey, it's a fist though, right? Might want to dip that him almost. All right, folks, I got my second fish. A drum. Did you, is there a car up there? I heard a car shot. That wasn't here, I guess. It was somewhere else. All right, got one, guys. Might be a small cat. It's definitely not over a pound. I feel of it. Pretty small guy. Cause I got a three ounce weight and it don't feel much heavier than that. Bad little flathead, hey, take him. Flathead. All right, I got a blue cat, a flathead, and a drum so far. Two flatheads in a row. Didn't even know he was on there. Huh. <laughs> oh, two flatheads. Both babies, but they are flatheads. What did I do? Okay, I got 
that my, this log has got to get out of the way. Nether fish, all three poles, blue cat and two flatheads. Come look, folks. I just got a triple whammy. Didn't even know two of them were on there. This log got right in the way. Finally, it's going to get out of here. Got me hung up on two of my lines. Little did I know there was another flathead after the first one I had hooked on purpose and then a little blue cat. Awesome. I just caught three catfish, honey. Come here. You're still doing the same thing. Didn't let me throw it. I'll come throw it. You probably don't have a worm left because you keep throwing it over and over. You gotta go sidearm. You're going straight up in the air. Or you're pushing the button too soon. You're pushing the button too soon or too late. <laughs> Why you wanna fish out here in the nasty mud? Why are you fishing out here? It's retarded. All you gotta do is push the button, but hold the button in, go back, and let go right there. And leave it alone. Not reel it in every 30 seconds. Then, after it hits the bottom, you let it settle. Listen to me, look, let it settle, and then you tighten your line up to where it ain't got a lot of slack in it. Like that. You want it to where it's as tight as you can get it. Yeah, come look at the flatheads. Two flatheads and a blue cat. Back all in one minute. And I was hung up. They're not nothing to brag about, but hey. <clears throat> pretty cool. I'm probably going to have to have pliers for this one. Oh, yeah. Pliers for this guy. Flathead two feet from the bank she was lowering her line down just to get it she was washing her hands and had her line lowered down in the water to wash her hands and hooked a flathead now that is strange right by the bank it swallowed the hook too after all that trouble you just went to Flathead three feet from the bank, they're right from that one little on the bank. You'd be amazed. Can't catch nothing to save her life except maybe flatheads. Not the kind of baby he's after, but at least she got to catch them. They're all like under a pound, little baby flatheads. Tiny blue cat before this, and then I got another flathead. We have caught six flatheads today and three blues all under a pound. None of them even, most of them under a half a pound. I don't know. The fish are biting good. We're just getting dinks. I mean, this is a baby flathead. That's the only ones that we can seem to get is the small ones. It doesn't matter if you cast it way out or near the bank the river's rising very drastically actually so i don't know if that's pushing a lot of these fish shallow or if i'm just in the wrong place uh, yeah a lot of small guys today guys this year because it did flood and it stayed flooded for seven months so maybe that's why there's a lot of juvenile fish in here it could be part of it but I'm sure there's other reasons as well. 
And I've been getting a bite about every minute right here. One little magical spot that I don't get hung. I know I need to be fixing up another pole, but...